This is the hand that's uh, now quite finished. Uh, finished uh, because uh, the servos are fixed inside. In fact, you can see here on the sides there's black things, you know. It's little holes that I had to do, extra holes that are not in the files. You can download, you have to drill them in order to fix and tie up the servos inside. There's a <clears throat> different bunch here. Doesn't have to be, but it's more handy for to tie them up inside. Anyway, um, I've set up a program so I can uh, control the fingers independently uh, through the keyboard. Each one can move. So let's say I press the, this thing, this keyboard here. It moves the fingers. This one. The, each movement is controlled through the keyboard. So on both sides of the keyboard I have two speeds. Here it's uh, the fast speed side and here is the slow speed side. So let's say for, the, for these, now it's going slower, pressing back. My problem with this uh, system is um, <clears throat> I cannot, I didn't figure out how to control let's say uh, three or four fingers at once if I press uh, if I press this two keys there's only one finger that moves and then I have to press again for the second finger so I'm sure there's uh, much better people that will understand how to do this this is for the thumb back and forth and uh, slowly All right, okay. <clears throat> of course, it can grab uh, different things. Let's say uh, it can grab a ball. If I press here, it can really hold it well. And the, you can see the finger is going into the ball, you know, because it's, it's uh, really pressing on it, squeezing it in order to hold it correctly. So here it's holding. And then with the thumb, <coughs> yeah, now it's holding very tightly, firmly actually, yeah, you can take it out and then put the fingers back. Yeah, all right. You can use it uh, also for to hold, uh, let's say, a screwdriver. Uh, heavy duty, I'm not going to show the brand. Like this. It can, when it is holding uh, something, it, it actually holds really well because it's really tied up on the tool. And then there's a, group, uh, a good grabbing. Uh, power. I'm not saying that it's so strong but it's all right and what is nice with the system with the double cables on the servos is that fingers are not wobbling you know once they um, once they are fixed actually with the cables you can see that uh, if you put the hand flat like this it's it's not wobbling like like other hands have been doing you know with the with the spring system this is firm firm enough you can hold uh, heavy tools let's say we take a machine like this let's put already uh, a little bit the thumb in action otherwise it's not gonna go would need to have a program to control all of that correctly Let's see, we do a little bit, ah, come on, take the thing, yeah, if he's pulling too hard, yeah, now he's tight on it, he's tight on it, so you can actually hold the tool with the hand, you can see, it's holding it. 
and that's a heavy thing, it's an 18 volt machine, so I don't know how many uh, grams it's doing, but anyway. Well, that's it for demonstrations like that. Um, I have also another program I will show you. Um, uh, it's a program that actually you can have a pattern. So I will do it now. Okay, <clears throat> this is a simple program that I've set up uh, into the Arduino using the um, the code that uh, you know that comes in the library servo library. Um, it's it's uh, just uh, doing a, uh, some pattern movements. It's handy if you want to let's say uh, make him do some task, and you know how to control those kind of things. You know, it can be handy. See here, it's taking one movement, another one, then one more, grabbing a fragile thing, let's say. Yeah, back, back to the first position. Um, I had to change the cables. I used different uh, cables from the beginning. I used, to start with, I had uh, some uh, tennis filament, tennis rods, that I, but they were too tight, too hard, and the fingers couldn't bend correctly. Now with, uh, I used nylon of 0.8 millimeters, which makes it much more easy for the fingers to, to fold and, uh, and bend. And then they come back to to the right position. It's uh, in this kind of position. It's rather strong. You see the fingers holding. to watch huh? yeah all right that's it for now Okay, um, I've tried also with the joystick. Uh, I bought this thing um, for one euro <laughs> in the old flea market. It's a joystick uh, that actually works. It's a USB one, and then uh, you, using a Python on the Windows, I can control the fingers. So you see, let's say this. One thing I didn't figure out though is um, how to put the fingers back straight on the script from uh, uh, on the Python script and I, I didn't get the time to really check this out so I've plugged it in changed some stuff some numbers in the script and it's working but not completely see normally what I would like is that all the fingers go flat again but they hold a position that I'm not uh, uh, really satisfied with so you can move the fingers you see like this like this so it's it can be nice if you want to um, to grab something very slowly then you can control the fingers you see the thumb I don't know if we can see well on the film but there, okay, it could grab, let's say, a little piece of paper or I don't know. Anyway, it works and uh, some guys have to work on the script to make it really perfect. 
crazy stuff. Strong hand. 